What's up, Stack and Ohana? This is Aloha Stacker, and welcome back to another video. We just hit 776 subscribers. Can we get to 800 before the end of February? That is the goal. Please help me get there. And today, in this video, we are going to be showing off the entire Queen's Beast 2-ounce silver coin series. But before we get started with that, as usual, we are going to talk about our good friend Private Stacker, who has a 900 subscriber goal going on. I think he's only down to about nine more subscribers till we get there and once he does it he's gonna he's not gonna waste any time he's gonna jump in there and he's gonna give out that prize so get over there and subscribe to our good friend private stacker also we're gonna go ahead and add this to the 750 subscriber ga and uh, that will be the last i speak of that so going ahead and moving on we're gonna open up a couple pieces of channel mail that came in over the last couple days and this first one is from our good friend silver oceans so let me break this out uh, he sent a couple coins that looks like they were taped in here, but they fell out, so we will show those off in a second. But first, let's take a look at his awesome stickers that he sent me. So take a look at that. Wonderful stickers. Thank you very much, Silver Oceans. These are absolutely beautiful. And one of them says numbered 2 of 20. So awesome. So this, this one goes onto the sticker board. This one gets saved into the private stash. And we have Silver Oceans to Aloha Stacker. Aloha Stacker. Dude. You were a gold beast closing out 2020. I hope for your continued success in 2021. Thanks for the swap swag pack, your continued support and friendships. Best regard, Oceans. Yeah, see these things fell out. So, so he sent me a couple coins. So let us go ahead and check them out. First, it looks like we have a copper clad coin from 1955, a 20 centavos from Mexico. And he knows, he knows the way to my heart is good old Mexican coinage. I'm the big fan of the Libertad, but this is just as nice. Look at this. This is awesome. This looks just like the back of a Libertad. But the front is awesome. I love the way that sun looks like that sun looks coming over the mountain or over the pyramid, actually. Sorry. It, it looks like a bell. So very cool. I'll get so I'll get this in the description with this more specifics. And um, he also sent me an Aztec and this is uh 50 centavos or 50 cents, 1984. And also has the, uh, Awesome eagle with a snake on the back where it says Estados Unidos Mexicanos. So that is awesome. Thank you very much, Silver Oceans. I really appreciate it. And he sent this really cool card. Look at that. Old Ironsides, USS Constitution, Boston. That, he knows the way to my heart is also in the Navy. So that is very cool. So thank you very much, Silver Oceans. We'll go ahead and put that off to the side and move on to channel mail number two. And this is from our friend Golden Spike Stackers. So let us see what... Percent. So, I've got a couple stickers here. Hold on a quick second. So, let's see. Let's check the note. He says, "Stay safe. Keep stacking. Golden Spite stackers. Bourbon stacker, or bourbon slacker." <laughs> Thank you very much for the nice note. I also got some numbered stickers: forty-six and twenty-five of one hundred. And these are cool. Look at that. Got the golden spike, which was in Utah. I don't know more specifics that I can remember off the top of my head of that, but that's where the two railroads from west to east met, connecting the United States by rail from the Pacific to the Atlantic. So that is awesome. And he sent me this nice little note. Hey, Aloha Stacker. Thanks for the sticker trade. It's been really cool getting to know this community. Thanks for the support, Golden Spite Spackers and Bourbon Slacker. And he sent me a barber dime. Let's pull that out. That is a neat looking, that's a very nice looking one too. Yeah. Wow. I don't think I've gotten a barber dime before in uh, with any channel mail, so that is that's a first for me. I've gotten lots of Mercury's, lots of Roosevelt's, but I don't think it's the very first time I've ever received a barber. So very nice, 1914, pretty decent detail on that. On the back it says one dime. Let me see if there's a, uh, and it's got a mint mark of D. So this was made in Denver, 1914 Denver. That's awesome, right at the right at the entryway of World War One. Although the U.S. wasn't in until 1917, but. Uh, Imagine the life this has been through, the pockets has been through, how it was spent. I bet a dime back then bought a dozen eggs, more, who knows. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you check out those channels. Their links will be in the description. We will go ahead and now move on to the Queen's Beast series. So the Queen's Beast is a 10 coin series. So the Queen's Beast coins are British coins issued by the Royal Mint, and they're issued in platinum. They're issued in gold and silver since, since the year 2016. Each of the 10 planned coins in the series featured a stylized version of one of the heraldic Queen's Beast statues present at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II, representing her royal line of ancestry. The silver coin is notable as the first, it's the first two ounce United Kingdom silver bullion coin. Engraver Jody Clark designed the entire series. 
So that is a, a quick brief of the Queen's Beast series. Here we have all 10 coins. And right now what we're looking at is the common obverse. So the common obverse of the coin, here's another one just so you can see up close. Features the fifth definitive coinage portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Surrounded by the text, Elizabeth II, DG, REG, FD. And they're in different denominations, although this one's in five pounds. The DG Reg FD is an abbreviation of the Latin De Gratia Regina Fide Defensor, meaning, by the grace of God, Queen Defender of the Faith. So that is what that means. I've always actually kind of wondered what that means. I'm glad I had a chance to, to look it up. So there it is right there. And obviously we've got the uh, the fifth image of the queen. So that covers that down. So let's go ahead and get started and start talking about the actual coins. And we'll start with the very first one of the series, which is this one right here. This is going to be the Lion of England. And there she is in all her glory. Or he is, he is, whatever. So we've got Lion of England, two ounce fine silver, four nines fine, 2016, first year of vintage. The Lion England is a crown golden lion which has been one of the supporters of the royal arms since the reign of Edward IV, 1461 to 1483. It supports a shield showing the arms of the United Kingdom as they have been seen since Queen Victoria's accession in 1837. In the first and last quarters of the shield are the arms of the House of Plantagenet, the Lion of England, technically is a heraldic language, Leopards of England, taken from the arms of King Richard I, who served 1157 to 1199, also known as the Lionheart probably remember him from the Robin Hood series. The Lion and Treasure, Army of Order of Scotland, appears in the second, and the Harp of Ireland is in the third. So then he's talk, they're talking about each of the uh, the shield. So that was very cool. That is the Lion of England, everybody. Very cool. So we will put that back down, and we'll move on to... Oh, by the way, I'm not doing these in... Uh, they're in order that they were released, not in uh, order of, I guess, succession. So uh, the next, next one we have is this one, and this is the Griffin of Edward III. In the Griffin of Edward III, Queen's Beast is an ancient mythical beast. It is considered a beneficent creature, signifying courage and strength combined with guard guardianship, vigilance, swiftness, and keen vision. It is closely asso associated with Edward III, who engraved it on his private seal. The shield shows the round tower of Windsor Castle, where Edward III was born, with the royal standard flying from the turret enclosed by two branches of oak sur surmounted by the royal crown. This is cool. This is a really neat looking one. This is probably my second favorite of the Queen's Bee series, I think, and by design. So let's go ahead and move on to the third. And I think this is this one's going to be my favorite. And this is the Red Dragon of Wales. I just think this coin is just such, got such a great design. Uh, the Red Dragon was a badge used by Owen Tudor after the story of the dragon on Lewin's The Last Castle Grounds. His grandson, Henry VII, took it as a token of his supposed descent from Cadwalder, the last of the line of the Melwyn. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The beast holds a shield bearing a lion in each quarter. This was the coat of arms by Lewin ap Grufold, the last native prince of Wales. So hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Any uh, Anybody who lives up in there who knows how to pronounce that properly, if I'm, if I'm butchering this, I apologize. Uh, I'm doing my best. These are uh, names not written for what I'm used to, but that is cool. Look at that. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful dragon. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning, this coin. So this is definitely my favorite one of the uh, designs. Next one we're going to move on to is this one, and this is the Unicorn of Scotland. And the uniform, so this coin, so from the end of the 16th century, two unicorns were adopted as the supporters of the Scottish royal arms. In 1603, the crown of England passed to James VI of Scotland, who then became, the James, who then became James I of England. He took as supporters of his royal arms as a crown lion of England and one as the Scottish unicorns. The unicorn holds a shield showing the royal arms of Scotland, a lion rampant with a double treasury, flory counter flory. So that is pretty cool. So I wonder if that unicorn stacker would like this, huh, Silver Conundrum? Hopefully you see this and I don't know if unicorn stacker has this coin, but why not? Please get that for her if, <laughs> if she doesn't have it. Uh, moving on, we're going to move on to the, this is the fifth of the series, and this is the Bull of Clarence, the Black Bull of Clarence. So the Black Bull of Clarence descended to the Queen's, to the Queen through Edward IV. The shield shows the royal arms as they were born by Edward IV and his brother Richard III, as well as all the sovereigns of the House of Lancaster and Tudor. So that is a cool looking coin. So a quick view. All right, let's go ahead and move on to coin number six. This is another one that I like a lot. This is probably in my top three. 
This is the Falcon of Plantagenets. The Falcon was first used by Edward III of the House of Plantagenet as his badge. It descended to Ed it descended to Edward IV, who took it as his personal badge, the falcon standing within an open fetterlock. Originally closed, the slightly open fetterlock is supposed to refer to the struggle Edward IV had to obtain the throne. His force, the lock, and, and, the one, and won the throne. He forced the lock and won the throne. <laughs> so hopefully that's clear. But that's a cool one. I like the falcon. So I would say for, I would say dragon, griffin, falcon so far in my, in my order of my favorites. So moving on, we have the Yale Beaufort. The Yale was a mythical beast, supposedly white and covered with gold spots and able to swivel each of its horns independently. It descends to the queen through King Henry VII, who inherited it from his mother, Lady Margaret Beaufort. The shield shows the portcullis sur surmounted by the royal crown. The portcullis, uncrowned, was a, was a Beaufort badge, but was used both crowned and uncrowned by Henry VII. All right, so moving on, we have the White Lion of Mortimer. The White Lion of Mortimer descends to the queen through Edward IV from Anne de Mortimer. The shield shows the white rose encircled by a golden sun, known heraldically as the White Rose in Solil, which is really a combination of two distinct badges. Both of these appear on the great seals of Edward IV and Richard III, and were used by George IV when Duke of, when Duke of York. Unlike the Lion of England, this beast is uncrowned. So just to compare that, for example, we've got crowned and uncrowned. So just to get just to show the example. Moving on, we have the White Horse of Hanover. So the White Horse of Hanover was introduced into the royal arms in 1714 when the crown of Great Britain passed to the elector George of Hanover. This grandson of Elizabeth Stuart, sister of King Charles I, became George I, King of Great Britain and Ireland. The shield shows the leopards of England and the lion of Scotland in the first quarter, the Fleur de Lis of France in the second, brought into the royal arms of England by King Edward II, and the Irish harp in the third quarter. The fourth quarter shows the arms of Hanover. So that is another cool looking coin. And we'll come into the final coin, and that is the most recent edition, and that is the White Greyhound of Richmond. The White Greyhound of Richmond was a badge of John of Gaunt, first Duke of Lancaster, Earl of Richmond, third son of King Edward III, it was also used by his son, King Henry IV, and especially by King Henry VII. The Tudor double rose can be seen on the shield, one rose within another surmounted by a crown. It symbolizes the union of the two cadet houses of Plantagenet, the House of York, and the House of Lancaster. So, as you know, <laughs> there's a lot of names in there. And unless you're, <laughs> I guess, up to uh, how the whole rotation cycle worked of all the kings and queens of England, it probably didn't make a lot of sense to you. But I wanted to give a brief history of all of them. Uh, here's all 10 coins of the two-ounce coin series. You've seen my one-ounce platinum one that I have. I, that's the only one I have of that, but I have the entire series of two-ounce silver. As a matter of fact, I actually have two additional ones. I have an extra Lion of England, and I have an extra Yale of Beaufort. So those are, will be up for uh, if anybody's interested in purchasing them or trading for them. Let me know in the, in the comments or send me an email at alohastacker.gmail at gmail.com. And maybe we can work out a deal if, you, if, you, if there's something I collect that you know I collect and want. Uh, hit me up. Maybe we can make a deal. It's four ounces of silver up for trade. But that is it for the Queen's Beast series. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little brief descriptions I gave of all the coins and a little bit of the history of uh, that the coins represent. I appreciate you all. And with that, I'm going to say have a happy Sunday and aloha and mahalo.